morning. Right, online here, Golf WRX or Golf Works website says, Greg Norman has never been a man to shy away from speaking his mind and during Saturday's Golf Channel broadcast of the QBE shootout, the Australian declared that if he had the opportunity to begin his career again, he would do so with single length irons. So Norman's saying if he started his career again, he would do it with single length irons. Norman stressed... Sorry, yeah, it carries on, so blah, blah, blah. Norman stressed how experience while experimenting with Cobra one length irons led him to conclude the single length irons are more beneficial than standard irons because your spine angle stays the same no matter what club you're using. I think we should give that a try. So I have a set here of Cobra King Forged one one length, you can see all one length, look at that. We're going to give them a go, let's get the jacket off and let's get fired at this. We'll put flight scope on and get some data and see how it goes. So there's my irons, as you can see going up there, boom they've got in half inch increments. Cobra one forged, see the lofts all change obviously, up the shafts. One length. So we're going to hit these irons, let's see what happens with them. Greg Norman thinks it's a great idea. I fully agree it's a great idea. A couple of issues as well that we need to look at, but certainly I love the, the sort of concept behind it all. We've got flight scope on the go. We're going to grab some numbers that's going to highlight my concerns. But overall, before we even start this, love the concept. So these irons are all seven iron length, seven iron lie angle. So they're all exactly the same, so you're four iron right through to wedge, all 7 iron length, all 7 iron lie angle. Sounds good to me. Let's try one. Nice forged head. Um, comes off the face really well. It's just a great set of irons. We've got flight scope on as I mentioned. And we're going to use that to grab a little bit of data. Nothing too intense though, because this is not really my thing. But just to see how this, how these work for me, if they work for me. So seven iron. Then I have to bear in mind these are one inch shorter than my normal clubs. So if I was to get a set of these, I assume Cobra do this. You can get them all, well, the same length, same lie angle, but you could get them to anyone, I guess. So maybe. I don't know, are they all standard 7 iron? You guys I'm sure leave comments, I would have mine 1 inch longer than standard if that's possible. So I have 1 inch longer than standard and that makes it play a little bit more upright for me. So I'm going to have to allow for that when I'm doing this today. There we go, that's lovely. Really good. Hitting that with normal distance, it's all standard stuff. Fade ball on them. Good, great. Let's try a wedge. So, the idea after let's not try a wedge, let's talk about them first. So, Greg Norman says it's the same spine angle for every shot. I get that because the lie angle is not changing at all. So, address position because every club's exactly the same. I'll take my wedge as well. Same lie angle from them both. Normally, a wedge is up here. Wedge 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That's normally how it works, as we all know. But same lie angle, so same spine angle as Mr Norman was saying, your spine angle is going to be exactly the same, so there's no alteration for the shot you're playing. The distance you stand from the ball is going to be the same, your ball position is going to be the same, your width of stance is going to be the same, there's a lot of things that are going to be the same here. Well considering every club's built the same, that's kind of going to be the case isn't it? So I'll take wedge. Four iron, nine, eight, seven iron. Start with wedge. In fact, no, start with seven iron. As I've done, I'm going to set myself up. Seven iron. Hold on. Seven iron. There we go, set up. Ball position, everything for 7 iron, all good. 
good. Then I step on, I take my pitching wedge, so I've got my most lofted club. And I set myself exactly the same as I did for 7 iron. So I'm visualising I've got 7 iron in hand. 7 iron, same setup. 7 iron looks really long. Sorry, the, side of the pitching wedge looks really long. Because it is long for a pitching wedge, but actually when I put it down, put it down there, with the loft, it actually feels longer than a 7 iron. It's just kind of strange. Okay. Oh, what? So I've just swung it like a 7 iron. That was in the air forever, that went so high. Wow. And then I take 4 iron. 4 iron goes in exactly the same position as 7 iron, which this feels really, sh this actually feels shorter than the 7 iron. And wedge felt longer than the 7 iron, but they're, they're all exactly the same. So that's the illusion. So I can see this for beginners and for Let's class it as higher handicappers, I guess. Sorry about that. The shorter irons are going to look much more appealing. You know, a long four iron is not easy to hit. A short four iron, well, I assume it's easy to hit. So I'm just swinging like a seven iron, or what I feel like a seven iron. It's super low, so low. I mean, it's up there. I'm going to don't get me wrong, it's, it's totally up there with my four iron distance like before, so low. It's really strange. Yeah, well it's up there. So the trajectory is really low. For four iron, really really high for wedge, standard for seven iron. So there's something going on here that's, that's making, I don't like that, I don't like that low ball flight 4 iron. And then when I, so I'll take a wedge now, try and knock down the trajectory, without gripping down because that would defeat the purpose. If I can try and manipulate loft through impact, maybe by more forward shaft lean or kind of getting out of the way of it, ball position change, try and keep this down. That was a terrible strike to try and do that, that was hard. That was quite hard. Try again. Ah, see, I can't keep that down. It's just the same, pretty much the same shot as before. It's so hard to keep down. The concept though, the concept or the approach that everything's exactly the same lie angle, same length, same ball position, same stance, same spine angle, same distance from the ball, that's brilliant. That That is tremendous and you look at Bryson DeChambeau he's doing this all the time he's got one plane swing he's trying to make everything uniform so it's the same on everything from driver right to sand wedge because these clubs come oh these clubs you order the sand wedge your gap wedge as well in the same lie angle and lengths that marry up the rest of your set so it's very clever I do like the concept about it ball flight I can't, I can't, freaks me freaks me right out I'm not used to seeing the ball fly as high as low as that on the both extremes or ends of the spectrum if you like. So I mean a wedge flying that high. I I, well, I grew up playing Lynx golf. I'm not sure I could control that. That was a terrible swing. Minus two today. Freezing. We'll battle through this. It's to snow tomorrow. Lovely. So here we go. I mean they're just rocketing in the air that pitching wedge. And then you jump to your most, your forearm that's so low. It's maybe, it's maybe not as extreme as I think, but I'm used to seeing pretty much every club going a similar sort of height. If you look at the stats on track, man, oh, my forearm's so low. <laughs> if you look at track, man, stats, let me just have a quick look at this, I've got this on my phone. I'll put it up on the screen, it's not actually on my phone, but track man stats between your wedge and your driver, there's only the four or five yards in difference. Whereas here there's an awful lot. So let's put on flight scope and let's try it out. Right, so flight scope's on, I'm a bit of a mess here today, I've just been doing some custom fitting. So flight scope's on, let's hit wedge, let's see how high this goes. The reason these go high is because your seven iron. The reason these go high with the lofted clubs is because we're hitting 7 iron length so the club's travelling far too fast in my opinion for the loft that's on the golf club. 
I mean, all the clubs are weighted slightly differently. There's a weight in the four iron up to the six iron or whatever it is, so it keeps the ball distances correct. But the flights are just just all over the place. They're just just too high in the short irons and too low in the long irons. Um, everything's seven iron length, so you're losing this losing this club head speed. Therefore, spins down the long irons. There's extra speed and extra spin with the lofted irons. That's why the ball goes so high and so low at both extremes. Let's have a see how high they go. Though. Cold. So pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. Flight scope's on. Let's hit one. Nice swing and a pitching wedge. Just trying to get a good one out there. Club's so long. Pitching wedge. Good strike. Yep. And coming down. So 152.4 feet. 152.4 feet. Now. We were, we were, flight um, track man was saying sort of 30 to 35 yards was the height, so 152, 152.4 feet. That's 51 yards in the air. So that's you know, that's 15 yards higher than your average. 15 yards higher, 152 feet. Wow. And that is purely because the club is a seven iron length, more club head speed up. Well, I would class as too much club head speed for a wedge. I'm only saying that. I'm only saying it's too much club head speed for wedges and too low club head speed for long hands because of what we're used to. I mean, it's not. It's, it's just perfect for this set of clubs and it works for people. It's absolutely, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's just, I always default back to what we're used to. So these are great, concept's great, man. I absolutely I love it. It's just strange to look at. It's strange to get that flight, that club head speed. Just different. That was exactly the same. Well, they all look exactly the same. 151 feet. So, <laughs> so we were 152 feet in the air. So 50 yards in the air with a wedge. Four iron. Actually, I can check the loft on that. I'm think, feeling it as if to say that this is this is with a wedge. Four iron. Let's try a good one. Good, so low. And that's up there, it's amazing how it, it can go so low but it keeps the distance, it's penetrating. That was, so I'm to this, there we go, 87 feet in the air. What is that, 87? Yeah, 29 yards, so that's 30 yards, which is like 5 or 6 yards, 7 yards or so below my normal four iron. It just seems to. It's the extreme from one to the other. Incredible. So that's 20 yards difference in height between wedge and four iron. Oh, I even tried to get that one up in there. Tried to get that in there. 86, that's similar. What was the last one? 87. Spins way down. Spins down at 3,000. Just under 3,000. So that's low. The spin on the wedge was, I think it was close to 11,000. And I'm looking at wedge to spin about 9,000, 10,000. I'm going to try and draw this. I'm going to high draw this ball. That is a bit higher. But I had to, I had to work that. I had to work that higher. That's 99. 33 yards in the air, so I've gained about 10 feet, so it's not, it's not a huge amount, so I had to work really hard at that. The idea behind these is we swing the same every time, I shouldn't have to work at that, I shouldn't have to be trying to hit high and low. <sighs> lost. So going back, so, so, so reviewing it all, it's all, I think it's brilliant, I think it's really, really good, I love the concept, especially, I mean, for beginners, it must make the game so much easier. Your ball's positioned there, you stand that far away from it, your feet are that far apart, there's a whole set of clubs, just go and play golf. Rather than go, okay, so you've got wedge, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ball position moves kind of half an inch with each one, they get half an inch longer in length, the lie angle changes by X degrees in each one, therefore your spine angle has to move each, your width of stance has to move, the distance from the ball has to move. Why was it so complicated in the first place? The idea behind this is, this is great. Bryson. 
So guys, there we go. That's just my take on the one length irons. Love them. Think they're absolutely brilliant. Just the flights are strange to look at because of that club head speed produced from different lengths of the shaft or similar, same length of the shaft, but on the different irons, the different ends of each spectrum, if you like, from four iron down to wedge. I find that very, very strange to look at. Doesn't mean it's wrong. It's brilliant for beginners and people new to the game, anyone, it's just really easy just to make everything exactly the same and I, I love the concept, really really like it uh, more manufacturers might bring this out, I'm not sure, I mean it's been out for years, I mean it's been out for decades but never really took off, Bryson DeChambeau's out there winning, what did they win four times this year or last season on tour 2018, that's, I mean, that's a career for some people, he's proven, he just swing it exactly the same every time, it's great he's used to that ball flight, he can play that, brilliant, guys if it helps the game Absolutely, go for it, give it a go. If you've subscribed to the channel already, thank you very much. If you've not, there's a little button just below me, hit that. Uh, also the little bell icon, if you click that, you'll get all my instant notifications of my videos and also the little thumbs up button. That helps it share around YouTube. That's always a nice little button to hit.